Hey everybody, so quick tip, had a service call come in for an air conditioner, not cooling. Uh, we showed up over here on site, uh, one of the first things that we noticed was that there popped up a, uh, some alarms on the economizer control over here. Let's see if we can go through these alarms real quick. And these are the exact alarms that were present. Arrived. Mixed air temperature sensor, outdoor air silk temperature error, outdoor air silk humidity error, and also a freeze alarm. So what was going on is these particular temperature and humidity sensors were having issues and the economizer control ended up locking out mechanical cooling side, which is pretty much having these compressors turn on. So first thing that you want to do when you're dealing with one of these economizers is obviously go through the alarms, see what's going on, and we need to check out each and every one of these sensors that were listed here. Uh, so the outdoor air temperature sensor, temperature humidity sensor, going to be pretty much on this side. This is a carrier unit, by the way, out here in Southern California. That sensor is typically located right under that panel, or inside this panel, behind that metal mesh filter. And then we also have a mixed air temperature sensor, which this one happens to be located right there. Okay, uh, right now what's going on is we just pretty much pulled out the connectors so we can mimic the sensors that were bad. And both of these sensors were pretty much already confirmed bad. And these are the old sensors right here. Here is that silk sensor. This goes on to the, uh, I believe it's the silk bus connection on the economizer. Oh, excuse me. I got it mixed up there. There's a temperature sensor. This is the temp and humidity or the uh, silk sensor. Uh, but as a look, uh, when you look at this, you can really see that it got really corroded there. This is the one that was located outside. Connection is just in a way pretty bad. Let's see where that plugs into it. So what we uh, ended up doing is obviously we get these sensors replaced. Mixed air temperature sensor, outdoor air temperature sensor, and once you correct these issues or you know whether it's a loose wire connection issue or the sensor's bad and it needs to be replaced these items actually will reset themselves right now what will end up happening is if we try to reset these items freeze alarm let's see if we can erase this and if it's still in that state, what's gonna happen is it'll pop back up. Same with the outdoor air sensor. Freeze alarm, outdoor air sensor. Likewise with the mixed air temperature sensor. Pops right back up. But, give me a second. Oh, I guess we'll just do this. Live. Go ahead and just connect these back up.
and all these wires and everything they're gonna get uh, zip tied back up. We had to pull some extra wire, some of it was corroded. Come back to the control. So it actually went back to the, uh, the first menu screen. So let's get back down to alarms. There it is, empty. Everything gets cleared and your system is back in working order. Obviously you want to do your checkouts for each location, making sure everything is working properly. We ended up pulling out these thermostat control wires right here just so we wouldn't have the blower motor or anything else kick on while we were doing this video. All right, hopefully this helps some people out there. I'm filled and let's get these units back on.